Hi Scorpio, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your weekly reading for the final week of June, 2023. I hope everybody's doing great. I'm gonna take a second like I normally do to remind you that this is a general reading. It may not resonate with every Scorpio out there, so do take what resonates for you and simply leave the rest for someone else. You know, if you find it's not resonating at all, you might wanna check your other signs and placements and see if those readings resonate better. Keep in mind that the energies can reverse or flip-flop, and that is really not unusual in a general reading. As always, Scorpio, don't try to force yourself into a reading that's simply not for you. Spirit, can I have the energy of the sign of Scorpio? Scorpio. That was fast. Okay, let's see what we've got. Five of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. And the Ace of Pentacles reversed. All right, so I do want to let you guys know that for some of you, you've had a financial loss. I can see that. Um, and you're definitely worried and working at your money. You're, you're focused on your money right now for sure. Um, that's a side note because I know this is a love reading, but I did want to let you know that. Um, and we'll clarify that as well. But I do see that with regard to love, that there has been a loss here. There's been an ending. It's destabilized you a little bit, and that could even be affecting your finances. I do feel that you're doing a lot of self-care. There's a sense of feeling rejected or abandoned, and you're really kind of doing a lot of self-care, focusing upon home, fo focusing upon your work, your job, focusing on family. If you have children, focusing upon your children. But a lot of self-care right now. Um, let's see who's in your energy. Yeah, it looks like you're in a little bit of a rough spot here. All right, the person in your energy, we have the Four of Swords. We have the Sun, sign of Leo. And we have the Devil, which is the sign of Capricorn. Don't get too tied up in the signs because we literally have them all in our charts, but it could be relevant for some of you. Um, I can see that there's a break here. This person is, they're silent right now. They're very silent. I do feel that they are seeking their own happiness here, but there's something that could be very toxic in their energy. Um, so this person could be, you know, more oriented towards themselves. I do have to point out that for some of you, there could be a pregnancy here that's unexpected. Um, either you or the other person. So if that's for you, congratulations. It might be a bit of a surprise, but um, even so, I do feel that this person is happy about it. Um, there is a very, very strong bond between you and this person. So it looks like this might be a break. So let in the in the connection like a temporary type of break. So let's see let's see the uh, energy between the two of you. The Eight of Wands. Distance could be an issue. Um, I do feel there's going to be a sudden change here, and I'm also seeing communication. So this person, if they do live at a distance, they could be traveling. Let's see what's affecting, to see you, let's see what's affecting this connection. The strength card in reverse, fear. Especially for those of you that there is a pregnancy here, there's fear um, regarding this situation. Now, not everybody, of course, is going to be in that situation where there's a pregnancy, but regardless, there's fear here. There's fear uh, that's affecting this connection. Let's see your outcome at the end of the show me the outcome at the end of the week. The three of wands waiting, waiting to see what's going to happen, waiting for your ships to come in. All right. Some of you may be waiting for an a large sum of money as well. Um, bottom of the deck is the Six of Cups. 
Six of Cups is a sweet energy, actually. It's a, it's a soulmate energy, but it's a very sweet, loving energy. And that's underlying this. So this is definitely a person from your past. Um, it could be that this person has been in your past, like in previous lives, but this looks like a past person because we see the, the, the disconnect here. Um, let's clarify. I do feel that this person may be coming back around. They may even be bringing you a gift. So let's see why is the five of pentacles here. Why is the five of pentacles here? We have the Knight of Cups reverse, Page of Swords. Yeah, you're you're kind of doing a lot of waiting and watching, seeing what what's taking place. What is this person doing? What's going on? There's love here, um, but I feel like you're kind of holding back emotionally. You're hoping that this person is going to extend love to you. Um, but as far as you, you're just doing some waiting and watching and holding back emotionally. You're feeling pretty rejected by this person. All right, we have the uh, Seven of Pentacles reverse. We have the Five of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, you're not investing in this connection right now, but you would like to end the conflict that's here. Um, and you definitely don't want to fight anymore with this person. So you're really kind of just focusing on your own self and your whatever's taking place in your life right now. We have the Ace of Cups reversed. Five of Cups reversed. And the Queen of Wands. Yeah, I can definitely see the ending. I feel like this ending, um, for some of you, this ending also affected you on a financial um in a financial way. And if not financially, it it made you feel unstable, okay? You've gone through some sadness here after this ending, but I also feel that you're kind of stepping back into your power here because you're showing up here as a queen of wands. You're thinking about love. You're you're, you know, getting a little bit of a glow up going on. So that's because you're taking care of yourself, Scorpio. You're really working on self. And that's, that's actually what you need to be doing here. There is this glow up going on. And I do feel that you are coming across as extremely attractive to other people. Um, people are kind of looking at you, desiring you, listening to you. Um, you're catching people's attention. And I do feel that you that's making you feel like you have a little bit more control over this situation, especially because you went through such a sense of rejection here. Um, so that's not a bad thing. It's actually a very good thing. But your, your heart is turning back towards love. You're really pulled back from this person. It's not that you don't have the feelings. You do. But you're holding them back and you're kind of waiting to see what they're going to do. So let's look at their energy. Why is the Four of Swords here? Why is the Four of Swords here? All right, we have the Ten of Coins. And we have the Eight of Swords. Yeah, they're worrying. They're kind of sitting back. There's no communication. They are talking, it looks like, to maybe family or friends about the situation. Um, honestly, they're obsessed about the situation. It's playing around and around their head all the time. This is, uh, you may be looking to see what they're doing, but that's what's going on. They talk about you constantly, either to friends or family. They can't help but bring up your name. Yeah, they're, they're kind of obsessing. They're worrying about the situation for sure. They're worrying about the fact that the two of you are not talking. And they're seeking advice. Eight of Cups. Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, so someone walked away. I feel like this person walked away from the situation and they're starting to see you now more clearly. If there's a pregnancy involved, this person is, is definitely um, happy about the pregnancy. But they their initial reaction may have been very poor. So, 
you know, be aware of that. They're definitely very, very focused on you, though. They're definitely focused on you. Now, some of them may be walking away from another situation in order to, to move in your direction as well. There's something that they're walking away from, something that wasn't satisfying, um, but they see you as happiness. They're definitely seeing you as happiness. And I feel like they, they want to move in your direction. Um, let's see why the devil is here. There's a strong connection here. I can see that. Two of Pentacles reversed. Three of Cups. Ace of Wands reversed. And the Seven of Seven of Cups reversed. Yeah, this person um, has become very um, unhappy about the situation between the two of you so there was some kind of a toxic situation and it's really made this person feel unstable it's like their energy is not balanced at all they're not happy they're not going out they're not partying i can tell you that since the end of this connection um i do feel that there's a for some of, of them there's a situation that this could have been a third party. You would have been the third party. And this person um, had options. They were exercising options that maybe they should not have been. If that's the case, all of that's ending. All of that is ending. They're not going to be juggling any longer. They're not going to be taking their wand and, you know, <laughs> spreading that around any longer. If there was third party energy, they don't want it to be third party. I feel like they're walking away from someone or something that was making them unhappy. They're moving in your direction. They were very confused, but that confusion has now cleared up. Um, and they're not going to be exercising other options. So it looks like the toxicity had to do with some sort of juggling here. And it doesn't even have to be necessarily another person. This They could have been juggling a lot in their life and not really paying attention to the connection between the two of you. So when the connection ended, they had to really examine what was taking place. They're not happy without you. And they clearly know that. So let's look at the connection. Why is the Eight of Wands here? Yeah, they've become very, very aware during this time apart about who you are to them. And I do feel that they are moving in your direction. All right, we have the Nine of Wands reversed. We have the Emperor. For some of you, this could be a divine connection or a soulmate connection. Like I said, Six of Cups is a soulmate. Um, this person's going to boss up. They're looking at this as being long-term. So they're, they're really thinking deeply and intently. They're talking to friends and family. Um, I do feel that there's going to be a change. This person's going to boss up. Now you could be dealing with an Aries. Um, but I feel like they're going to take control of this situation because they're looking at you in a long-term sense. You're kind of giving up on the situation a little bit. And that's those feelings of rejection and fear. Um, you don't trust this person at this point. I do see communication coming forward. Likely from this person. Because they're the ones that's kind of kind of bossing up here. So you're, you're kind of uh, distrusting. You'd like to resolve the problems. But you don't trust what's going on with this person. I'm telling you, Scorpio, this person is not happy without you. Why is the strength card in reverse? Four of Wands reversed. And the sun in reverse, or in the upright. Yeah, 
they have the sun twice. So like I said, if there is a pregnancy here, they're happy about it. They are. Um, I do feel that they're seeing the situation more clearly. They also realize, regardless of the situation, that they were acting out of fear. They are realizing that and they are moving in your direction because they see you as happiness. Now, you're looking to see, for some of you, if this has been third party, I feel like you're not gonna invest with this person anymore as long as they're in another connection. You're you're looking to see, are they still in that connection? You fear that they're not going to end another connection and you don't wanna be part of anything where you are, are made into an option or you're you know a third party. You're not gonna deal with competition and I don't think you should either. I can see that you don't wanna fight about whatever ended the connection and you're afraid that it's over for good. So your fears are really kind of playing heavily on your mind right now. Um, but I'm telling you that the way it appears is not the way it is if, if that's how you think. Because this person is moving in your direction. Let's see the Three of Wands. Why is the Three of Wands here? Okay, so there's a waiting energy Five of five of swords reversed, four of pentacles, and the ten of wands. Yeah, you're very burdened by the whole situation. Yeah, you're very burdened by it. There's a you're wanting to take action to end the, the conflict here. This person is still holding on to you. They're guarded, but they're still holding on to you very tightly. I, I do feel like it's because they are going through this process of figuring out how unbalanced their life is without you. They're, I'm telling you, they're not happy. So I'm, I'm seeing more of a waiting energy by the end of the week. Oops, that was... Six of coins and the nine of pentacles. Yeah, you're you're waiting for this um, equal give and take. You're not going to be part of somebody who's juggling or giving their attention to more than one person or situation. Um, and like I said, for some of you, it's not another person; it's a situation, and they're not making this a priority between the two of you. You may have been the one who walked away from the connection, but I feel like they're still holding on to you energetically. I do see this conflict ending, but as far as where it's going to go after that, that's what you're both kind of waiting to see. They are, they are um, if they're in another connection, they're ending something. They're ending something to become single. And they're holding on to you energetically. I can see in your energy, you're probably going to be like, I don't even believe it. I don't think it's true. But because I see that you're very weighed down by the whole situation. You just want an equal give and take. You want a relationship that's not full of conflict and full of all this worry. And that's what you're waiting for. In the meantime, you're doing the right things. You're working on yourself. You're focused on your money. You're focused on you know, self-care, and you really do have a glow-up going on. So, I know that it's frustrating to wait, but I, I feel like you're not putting the time in a I'm waiting for this person mode. You're more or less putting it into yourself, which is exactly what you should be doing. Bottom of the deck is the Page of Wands. Now, the Page of Wands not only is it that spark of interest, it and this is underlying energy, so it's not only a spark of interest, but it's good news. It's good news coming in. So the conflict's going to end, and then it's a, a matter of where do we go from here. But there's good news coming in. So just hang in there. All right, so I'm going to pull an oracle card, and we'll see if there's any further advice. 
Uh, number nine. Now, nine is um, close to an ending here. You're reaching a point where you're almost done with some cycle. And this is the card of hope. So let's look at that. Give me just a second, guys. All right. Hope is the offering that carries us forward into the darkness, unbowed and unbroken, despite the knowledge of the true challenges which face us. And you do have those challenges. Hope allows us to see the beauty and exquisite shifts and changes within the natural world without becoming frightened of what they are omens of, the winter of the soul. When this card comes to you, you are asked to be receptive to hope and to allow its gentle, uplifting sweetness to bring joy and comfort into the days that grow cold. Hope will allow you to be realistic, but to also stay present and without fear, which can cripple and inhibit our pleasure in the turning of the wheel of the year. As your life moves into a time that will bring some challenges, you are given the gift of hope, which will stay with you, helping you to see the gifts in all the moments in which others will allow the challenge to steal the meaning from them. Allow the changes to take place and treasure all the time you can spend with loved ones and with the natural world and give yourself the time to relish the ever-changing world all about you. Reach out and take the gift of hope, carry it within your heart and let it warm you even as the days become harsher, even as people grow cold. Know that this time is impermanent and that all will change again and again and again. You are within a beautiful time that will not last externally, but the offering of its beauty will stay alive in your energy for all time. Give yourself time in nature, observe the changes, and watch others as they change too. See, I told you, Scorpio, this situation is changing and this person is making their way back to you. They're holding on to you. So, you know, just allow that hope to fill your heart and do what you're doing. You know, spend time with loved ones and do a lot of self-care, but don't give up hope. All right, I hope this has been helpful for you, Scorpio. If you have resonated with this reading, hit that like button. And if you haven't already subscribed, I would appreciate it if you would subscribe. Until I see you guys in your monthly reading, that'll be in about a week. Namaste.